another question is how can i get a job offer in canada so if you get this does <laughs> hey guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new you're beautifully welcome please hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you turn the post notification bell on and if you're not new you're welcome yet again i hope you've been enjoying my videos and you've been finding them useful as well thank you very much and if you are you are not new and you're yet to subscribe please do so right away so i'm doing my 1000 subscriber celebration that's why i danced in the intro thank you very much for subscribing you know i'm so excited Thanks for the first 1,000 subscribers. I look forward to 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, you know. So I, I hope and I hope I continue to bring amazing content to you guys. I hope so. So that you can continue to subscribe and share with your friend and watch my videos. <laughs> because I don't know, if I continue to make videos and there was no one watching, I'm sure I won't get enough motivation to continue to make them. So that's the reason why I have to appreciate you guys for watching my videos, for subscribing as well. So that's it, guys. Let's jump right into the video in today's video i'll be answering questions that i always get in my dms so i don't know how to put this in a mild way but i get lots and lots of dms dozens of dms in on instagram on twitter and even on you know on facebook as well and i want you guys to understand that despite the fact that i'm trying to answer those questions when they come i would appreciate and prefer if you can put them in the comment section of the video you watch this is the reason for this is I answer the same questions over and over again. So someone asks me one question on Facebook and another person asks me that same question on Instagram and another person asks me that same question on Twitter. I, I can't continue to always answer this question. That means I won't have time to make videos. That means I won't have time to edit my videos. So I would like if you guys can put your questions in the comment section so that when I answer one person, it would serve as a response to many others you know some people as well they want to ask questions but they are shy they don't know how to put it they don't want to make comments or they don't even like they, they could they didn't even think of the question but your question has addressed something that they had in their mind and my response will answer them as well so i'll just appreciate if you guys would put your questions in the comment section so i can respond to them and this applies to people that knows me personally as well i would appreciate if you guys can put your questions in the comment section and not always sending them to me privately because if i answer you it benefits only you it doesn't benefit other people you know thank you very much for complying to that i appreciate so in today's video i'll be taking the questions some of the questions that i've gotten privately that i think i need to address and would answer some other people that are yet to ask those questions. I took screenshots of those questions, some of the ones that I feel that would be useful to other viewers. I took screenshots of those questions and I'll be taking and I'll be providing an answer to them. So the first question I have here is how long does AIPP take? So if you have not seen my video on AIPP, I'll put it in the link in the description box. AIPP is Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. It's a new program going on in Canada for immigration. And um, the program takes when you after you get your endorsement letter from the province that you apply to you would apply for your pr that's permanent residency but on the cic website there's no particular estimate of how long it takes but it depends on the complexity in your application if you have lots of travel history it might affect your it might it might delay your background check or your security checks and if your reference maybe the people you um the company that you previously worked your reference letter it took a while for them to respond it could also affect it as well but there's no precise time frame but if you need to come to canada to work immediately maybe the employer that gave you the offer letter needs you to come to canada immediately to start work you can apply for work permit that should take about six weeks and you'll be in canada after six weeks and you can resume work till your pr application is approved so yeah i hope that answers it Another question here is, I don't have Canadian education, can I still do AIPP? Yes, of course, you don't need to have Canadian education for you to do AIPP. They only have a separate program for people that are international students here under AIPP, but in the same vein, you can apply for AIPP with any credential you have, provided you have a degree or um, high school certificate. Another question is, what is the first step for express entry? So the first step for express entry is to check if you are eligible after checking if you are eligible, you take your, you get your IELTS report and your EC report and you have to take the exam, of course. You can apply for your EC report in the same time you are preparing for your IELTS test. So you can do both concurrently. There's no one to come first or which one should come next, but you can do both. You need both reports so you can do both at the same time. 
Another question is, can I move out of the AIPP provinces and when? I feel like this question, I got it the most. Well, this is the second most asked question after the next question will be taken. So the Canadian government has not specifically said or mentioned how long you have to stay in those provinces, but it is expected that you work and live there for a reasonable period of time because these provinces are the ones that give you reasons to come to Canada. And you have to like work and earn money for them like that's through your taxes so you have to work and live there for a while to stimulate economic activities so let's say but i've seen some people that said they were able to live after two years i don't know if that's true but let's say within two years after two years you've contributed something reasonable to the government in that province so maybe after two years you can leave another question here is which of the aipp provinces will i recommend to be honest, I can't recommend for you because my own profession is different from what your profession is. And my interest is different from yours as well. I like a, a city that is very busy and has lots of activities in it. You may want something that is pretty much laid back and less busy. And also, you need to find which of the cities has more of your occupation in demand. So you can use that as a criteria. Don't only use cost. Also, look out for the fact that, let's say, the, the company that gave you the job offer, you want to know if there are other companies similar to them. Maybe they are into production. You want to be sure that there are other companies having such activities in that environment. So maybe in case you want to move from that company to another company, you can easily find another job. That's another thing to look out for. But for me... If you ask me what I would recommend, don't take my recommendation seriously. Like I said, our interests are different. Our professions are different. I don't have kids. You may have kids. So for me, I'll probably go to Nova Scotia if I had to. If I had to, I'll choose Nova Scotia. So another thing is, another question here is, when do I apply for PR? So this person is particularly referring to AIPP, I guess, saying, when do I apply for PR? Is it before the job offer or after? Is it before you land in Canada or after you land in Canada? So you have to apply for PR before you come to Canada on that AIPP program. So after you get your job offer and you get an endorsement letter from the province, you need to apply for your permanent residency to come to Canada. The next question here is, is there an age limit for AIPP? So even for express entry, there is no age limit, provided you are able to get the score, the minimum score to get an invitation to apply, you are fine. So for AIPP also, there's no age limit that I know of. You can apply even as long, even if you are as old as 45, 50, you can apply, provided you have skills to offer to the government or the city or the state. Another question is, I don't have work experience. Can I still do AIPP? So the only program under AIPP that does not require you to have work experience is the Atlantic International Graduate Program. And that program is mainly for international students. So students that finish here in Canada and they want to go to Atlantic Canada, any of the provinces, they are not required to have work experience. But if you are coming from other countries, Nigeria, Congo, Togo, Mali, anywhere you are coming from, you should have work experience. So for Nigerian future immigrants, if you schooled in Nigeria and have your NYSE, I think you can use your NYSE work experience as one year work experience, which should be enough. Provided the job description you did during your NYSE fits into the approved NOC code, you can use your NYSE work experience. Another question is, can I apply to different provinces? Yes, there's no consequences if you apply to four, the four different provinces under AIPP. In fact, it expands your chances. It increases the possibility of you getting a job offer. So if you can, you can apply to all four provinces and whichever come first, you apply for PR. So by applying, I mean apply for jobs, not like you apply for PR in all four provinces. Do I make payment to West? The next question, do I make payment to West before I can get a reference number? Yes, you have to make payment to West before you can get a reference number. You cannot just create an account and not pay and send documents. If you don't have a reference number on your documents, they would not accept it. So you need to make sure you make your payment to get your reference number and always ensure you put your reference number on all the documents you'll be sending to WS. Otherwise, you just wasted your money. They will not accept it. So another question is... Another question here is, can I apply as a single mom? Of course, you can apply as a single mom, but you just need to make sure you get custody of your son or your daughter because the Canadian government are really careful, very, very careful on issue of 
um, child custody, children rights, and all of that. They don't want a situation where later in the future, the father's the father of the child will reach out and say, how do you carry my child without my approval? So you have to get full custody of your child before you can apply or before you can come to Canada as a single mom. Another question is, how can I get a job offer in Canada? So if you, get, this doesn't only apply to people applying for AIPP. If you are also applying for a express entry, because this course has been going up really high lately, if you want to get a valid job offer in Canada, you need to ensure you, apply, you get a Canadian CV style. You need to also get a cover letter for each of the applications you'll be sending out. You need to ensure you match the job requirements of the job you're applying for with your CV. So they need to have some form of correlation. If you're applying for two dis the same jobs, if you're applying for two different jobs that require that requires an accountant and a bookkeeper, they are like two different things. So you need to make sure you match your CV in some in a way that would, you know, make sense. Also ensure that the application you're sending out for each job, the, your CV or your resume is in the Canadian format. You cannot apply with two. You cannot apply for jobs with your Nigerian normal CV. You have to draft a Canadian style resume and a cover letter to follow each of your application. And you continue to apply, look at different job offers, check Indeed, check uh, Monster, check LinkedIn, and all of that. You'll probably be able to find a good job that will give you a good job that will help you with your AIPP program. So yeah, that's it. That's all the questions. I got, I got lots of other questions, but these questions I just took, I think would be relevant to other viewers as well. That's why I had to take them. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and make sure you turn the post notification bell on. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you once again for 1,000 subscribers. I look forward to the next 1,000. That's 2,000 subscribers. So I'll be dancing out of this. Uh, uh, because the way that you shake your ukuma, baby, you must come talk. Oh, yeah, make me shake it to your rubber. Oh, yeah,